So there's a few more important things to know about C Sharp. First thing I'm going to talk about is white space. Yeah. Nelson, you're fired. <laughs> Actually, I can do better than that, can I? Um, yeah. I'm just trying to make a point to everyone. I, right I know. You're fired for life. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, this is really gross. Um, but it's completely valid, and it'll run. Surprised ReSharper didn't just slap you. <laughs> it, like, just shuts Visual Studio down. Yeah, it revokes my programming. Um, this is valid, and the reason it's valid is C Sharp is a white space insensitive language. Um, that means that white space, and white space is defined as spaces or tab characters, or new lines. So new lines, carriage returns, spaces, and tabs are considered white space. White space does not matter. That's actually why we have so many little things inside the language. That's why we have semicolons at the end of our lines. Because it's not the fact that it's on a new line that tells the C Sharp compiler that it's a new expression. It's the fact that it has a semicolon there. That's also why we have curly braces. Because this curly brace delineates our thing. In this case, our class. Or in this case, our method. So again, all of the syntax is incredibly important because without this syntax, the C-sharp compiler would not know how to read our program. Because at the end of the day, it completely ignores um, white space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this last curly brace. I'm going to show you guys a magic trick. By, by deleting that, that, oh, hold on. Nope, we're not talking about internal. Um, by deleting that white space uh, or deleting that curly and adding it back in ReSharper just formatted my code for me um, automatically because I am using the default um, code style guideline for the C Sharp programming language. And that code style says that curly braces should open up a new level of indentation 